this next gen cam power mill highlights video we're going to be taking a look at the automatic generation option within our patterns within power mill if we go to our patterns tab all the way over on the right hand side a little bit maybe three panels in you'll see under utilities we have automatic generation uh, what this does is this actually takes an existing pattern and offsets it so that we can use that pattern geometry. Now this does like an automatic offset more than it is like an automatic generation, but it allows us to take any given pattern and multiply it many times and offset it within the defined parameters. To give an example of this, I'll go ahead and create a pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and just insert our emblem here from Next Gen Cam. I'm gonna make sure I just select the right surfaces here. If I insert those surfaces from the model there, I'll get four separate patterns. I'll turn off my model here and grab those patterns, go into my automatic generation, and if I use this offset strategy here in the far right corner, I can then define the step over for this geometry to constantly collapse to. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that at the 10,000s that I have there defined and hit apply. Now you can see that the pattern is then created and it's maintaining its continuity to the geometry throughout the pattern step over. This is nice when you can't get a toolpath to do a specific thing. Now with this, once we have this, we can drive any of these patterns with any of the pattern toolpaths that, that accept this. In this case, and most times, you'll be doing this with pattern finishing. We select pattern finishing, select our pattern, then we can preview that to see the cuts and then calculate it so that it drops down onto the surfaces. And then calculate that so that drops down on the surfaces. Let's apply a block. Let's calculate the toolpath. Now we get a toolpath that is driven by the actual pattern. Other usages for this that I typically use this for would be for geometry that may not create a, a standard toolpath or a projected toolpath the way I would want it. Uh, or maybe something that has like sliver surfaces or multiple radiuses converging into one point where toolpaths may not give me the results I'm looking for. I can then create a pattern in this area and create a composite curve from any of the selected geometry and I'll just run this composite curve along this edge here all the way to the end. Let's make sure it goes down the correct edge as there's multiple surfaces there. And when I have that curve, I can then use this to define any toolpath that I like across that geometry. And then I can also project that down onto the radius and maintain a nice clean step over down that geometry. Now to do this, after I have the pattern defined, what I may want to do is actually create a work plane here and create that work plane above the geometry so that I can project it down a little more efficiently. Can go ahead and activate that work plane. Then we'll go back into our curve editor and we'll use our project and flatten option to flatten that out up to that work plane point. Now, as long as it's above the geometry, whenever we pattern this across, we'll be able to use that uh, to project down onto the surfaces of the part. We'll accept that pattern and we'll go into our automatic pattern generation. Now I'm going to go ahead and use uh, one of the other offset options. The first two here will actually be options that create the pattern perpendicular to the pattern selected. We want to go along the pattern that's selected and in this case we're going to go ahead and use the along pattern with the uh, two-way options. Our step over for our cutter is going to be our ten thousandths. Now a left and right distance here so we're going to go to uh, the right hand side of our left and right of our curve here by a distance of 250 thousandths. And if I select that geometry and apply it, you'll see I get patterns across that entire region. Now from here, I'll go ahead and accept that and we can go ahead and use the pattern finishing option as the toolpath, just like we did in our previous example. Project that toolpath down onto our pattern. Let's make sure our block is calculated. And calculate the toolpath. Now that toolpath is going to project itself down and if we take a look at this and turn off our pattern, 
you'll see I get nice even step downs across that surface. Now we could have gone to the left or the right on that uh, and maybe put a few patterns on the right hand side of it as well to blend the, uh, the other surface into it. Uh, we could also limit that with a boundary if necessary. That would be some of the usages that we see uh, with that pattern and auto generate feature. I hope you enjoyed this Power Mill Highlights video. Thanks for watching.